In this question, we have function fx and a straight line. The line meets the graph of f at exactly one point. We have to show that m is equal to 4. There are three different methods that we can use to find the solution. Here, I will work with the concept of the discriminant. Based on the equation of the graph and the straight line, we can write that mx squared minus 2mx is equal to mx minus 9. The equation that we get this way is a quadratic equation. A key point here is that since the graph of f and the line intersect exactly at one point, this equation has one solution. One solution, or two repeated solutions, in turn mean that the discriminant of this equation is zero. Let's rearrange the equation and find a discriminant. Doing so, we get mx squared minus 3mx plus 9 equals to zero. Since now this quadratic equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, we can use the following expression for the discriminant. So we get that the discriminant is equal to b squared, and here b is negative 3m, so we get negative 3m squared, minus 4 times a times c, so 4 times m times 9. Working further, we get 9m squared minus 36m. Factorizing gives us 9m multiplied by m minus 4, and as we explained earlier, this discriminant is equal to 0. From here, using the null factor law, or simply the fact that 9m times m minus 4 is equal to 0, we can write that m must either be 0 or m must be equal to 4. So one of our solutions here for m is 4, and this is what we wanted to show, but we still have to explain why m equals to 0 does not work here. One way to do this is to substitute 0 for m in this equation. From here, we get that 0x squared minus 3 times 0 times x plus 9 is equal to 0. Since the first two terms here are 0, we get that 9 is equal to 0, which is obviously incorrect, so we can indicate that m equals 0 is not a solution here. This completes our working for the question. Let's see an important tip that will help you earn full marks on similar questions. Here we have a show that question, and on show that questions you are given the final result, and you are asked to show the steps that lead to this result. It is very important that you do not use the given answer in your work. I imagine that some students, after equating the two expressions, substituted 4 for m, and then went on to solve the equation for x. Such a method will not earn full marks, because the fact that m is equal to 4 should not be used in your work.